Alrighty, and here's a video review for Kyoryuger's ninth Junryu or Mech uh, Plezuo, Plezuon, Plezuo DX, Rocket Henke Plezuo, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Plezuon in his Mech mode versus his combined, his robot mode of Plezuo, that's how they named it over there, so there you go. Um, and we'll get into some even cooler stuff from that. But like, here's the box, it's a, it's a very large box. Um, just to give you an idea. And on the back and around it, you just get your basic... All the stuff on the back, and the noises, and the pictures, and the, and the whatnot. And then some stuff on the bottom, and some stuff on the top, and what have you. Open up the box, and inside you get... Uh, Plezuan himself, a giant space-faring plesiosaur. That's his rocket ship mode. Um, you also get his Judenshi. The uh, little flippy glow-in-the-dark uh, battery. Um, and then this little extra piece, which we'll explain in a little bit. Um, now, I start off with uh, Kira Violet, um, who was the doctor who created all of their, uh, all their, where he worked on all the weapons, which is why all the weapons, like, he's actually the guy who does the voice for all of the, ah, da, da, sack, ya, da, ya, ya, and, the, and, the, and the gun stuff, that, I sounded more like the, uh, the guy who answered the door in Wizard of Oz, I'm sorry. Dorothy Gale from Kansas! Anyway, uh, why didn't you say so? Come on in! Anyway, enough, uh, sidetracking. Uh, and then he ends up passing it down to, uh, his daughter, uh, the new Kyoro Violet. So, uh, spoiler, or granddaughter, not his daughter, granddaughter. So anyway, here it is in rocket mode, and that's rocket mode. I mean, like, it, it's a big, it's huge, it's a rocket, it can fly through space. There's a little switch on here. Ah, and okay, don't make noises. Um, let me see, turn the switch on here to make noises. Somehow I only did a short noise, I don't, I, that's the first time that's happened. But yeah, so there he is in rocket mode, and you can open these up to reveal his skins, and, um, I wasn't aware I knew. Oh, it's because, it's, 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 it's because I don't have the Judenti in. Um, so yeah, and there he is, and you open it up, and you can see then there's front and back fins to make him look more like a plesiosaur, and less, less like a rocket ship. Um, he's open mouth open and closes, mostly so you can feed him his battery. But yeah, there he is, um. I don't know how much of that. Okay, it looks like that, that mostly stayed in frame. So yeah, um, and there he is, it's, and it's cool. And, uh, and like I said, he's massive, he's neat, he's a space dino. Can't go wrong with that. So you can plug in his Judenshi, just open his mouth, snap it right in here. It helps if you actually have this forward. There we go. And that's the Doctor, that's the original Kyori Violet who does the voices for those. So you plug that in, and there you go. Now we can transform him into Plezuo, which is the which is his robot mode. So you just pop these off. These are going to be his arms. You get two arm pieces, uh, mostly for symmetry up here. You can display him with this one on, but normally this this whole arm cannon head becomes his, his right arm normally, uh, and then his left arm. So it goes off to the side. And we go ahead and pull the whole... whole... Uh, Dinosaur head off. This, this is where all the sounds and electronics are in this piece right here, as we already saw. And then pull these up and pop these off. These will become his feet. And then here's the main torso. Pop this off. Pop this off. This is the, whole, the back piece here. And then rotate this up like this. Split these. And you can see where we're going with it. Bring these down. And you see, you can kind of see there's the torso. You'll take these, uh, you want to have have this piece facing out and the yellow piece facing forward, and just snap them on right here, onto the back two. You'll see there, there's three connection ports on here for different things. The back two are what we use for the, uh, for the foot mode. Now he's got giant boat shoes, as you can see. Um, and then, like I said, you can give him, if you wish, uh, two normal arms. For display, for display purposes, if you want him to look normal, um, but yeah, we've only seen him so far with, with this as his right arm. So we'll go ahead and just snap that on. It snaps on just like a regular, in the same manner that all the uh, Junryu attached to uh, Gabotira uh, and uh, Terra Gordon, uh, Teridno. Um So yeah, this piece can you turn this around? This arm can store back here. You can actually store both arms back here, but we'll get to that. Um, and then this piece right here stores right here on his back as well. 
Um, again, mysterious white piece off to the side. And then this piece, you can turn around, plug this into his head, and then slide this up. And there is Plezuo combined. Now here he is with a, he's stripped down because he's not combined, but just to get an idea of the size, he's already in the mode we're going to need him for later. Uh, there he is with Gabotera. So he's very tall, a very large mech, um, which is neat. Um, now he does have some sounds over here in the gun like we heard. Now that this is in here, you can push uh, this front button and it'll give his transformation noise. Uh, there's two buttons here. This one will... And you hear Plezuo and, and his big triumphant, I've turned into a robot music. Um, there's an attack button right here. You push that, cock his weapon three times. Then that's when he does his super mega attack with this giant arm cannon and generally blows up the bad guys. Um, so yeah, but that's him. Uh, you can... Uh, one of the combinations we've seen, you can take this off, and once again, you can uh, snap these two pieces right here together and plug them back onto the back so his arms, can, his normal arms can store on the back while you're doing this, and I like that. Um, I, I, my only regret, I think, on this is I wish if you were store, using him with these two arm pieces, there are a way to store this piece on his back. Because um, you, you can do it, but only if you plug it in, like, sticking straight out, and that's no good. Um, if there are a way for this to sit back here on his back, while the two regular arms are in there, that would be pretty much perfect for me. Um, but you can store those on his back, and then you can take bun packing, again, or any any of the other arm mechs you can attach, but uh, this is the one we've seen in the show. And you just plug them in here. There's no special noises for it, but there's a uh, bun packy plezuo, or plezuo bun packy. I think it's bun packy plezuo is how they announce it. And, uh, and there's an attack mode for him. And both, all of these guys have gone to Kill Red. King has got control over, uh, they're, they're not his main mech, Gabotero is his main mech, but they're kind of familiar, like, everybody has a little secondary mech. Actually, does he have Enkidon too? He may have all of the extra mechs outside of, uh, the, the main, the main character's mech, I'm not sure. But yeah, so there's that, and again, he's cool, and he's awesome, and you, you could, you could, you can take this and stick it on Gabotero if you want, make your own combinations, um, these are all the same ports. Now, here's where it gets really crazy. Bakaretsu uh, hunters. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to take him, we're going to combine him with Gabotiro and Bunpaki to form Bakaretsu Kyoryujin. Kyoryujin. There we go. Kyoryujin. There we go. <clears throat> Been a long day. Um, so, yeah. And that's going to be just this massive, giant robot of doom. And uh, and here's where we come to this. Here's Gabotiro. We're going to go ahead and turn him sideways like this. So he's kind of facing forward in dinosaur mode. This the tail comes on here, so he's going to look silly from the side. Big tail. This white piece that we mentioned earlier slides right on here, and that's basically because that prevents the legs from going any wider than this. Because when this combination is very heavy and pushes down on the legs, without this piece they would just split and he wouldn't stand. So there's a nice little extra piece. And like I said, you can't store it on uh, Plezuon when when you're playing when when he's not using it, but you can. Uh, this will stay on. You can stay on uh, him in Kyoryujin mode, so you can just store it on him, and then you've got, you don't have to worry about it being just an extra piece sitting around on your shelf for display if you want to have everything ready to go to mess with. So he, he's all ready to go. We'll set him off to the side for the moment. And so we'll pop Bunpaki off of here. We'll pop off the giant arm cannon. We'll pop off the head. We're pretty much popping off everything here at this point. And we'll, and we'll get him to pop off the arms. Actually, the arms may stay back there, and, and, and this plate. So pull everything apart. We can go ahead right now. We're using the front and the back pegs here, pegging these onto the bottom of Gabotira's feet. Come on. There we go. So, yeah. Now gabotiro has got rocket feet. We'll come back to him in a minute. Okay. We take this. I remember where all this goes. I think these come around back again like this again. I'm going to open these up. Just enough to flip these ports out, which again, as you can see, are the same as the arm ports and the same as the arm ports on Gabotira. We're, that's where we're going to attach some arm pieces here. I'm going to bring these out like that. See, that, and they actually lock in. There's some clips right here. They lock in like this. 
just like that. These are going to come forward. Bring, oh, bring, yeah, bring that back up. Okay, like this. Bring this down like this. Straight forward. Actually, we're going to pull them out a little bit. And we're going to attach the arms purple side forward here on each of these. Just like that. I'm going to set this off to the side. And then we're going to take this. This port right here is going to fit right over Gabotira's head. Or, yeah, Kyoryujin's head, I guess. Just like that. We're going to snap him down onto there. And then these uh, arms right here are going to snap in and connect. Oh, whoops, I forgot to flip down. Each arm has a little flip out port. You want to flip that port down. Snap them in, and then that will plug in to the side of Gabotira here, just to hold everything in place. So we're, I'm not going to pull this off. We'll just pop it out from here, and then plug that in like that, and that connects everything. You see, we're kind of getting wow. We're all even with all that space in the camera. We're running out of a little bit of room here. All right. Once that's done, this piece plugs in here. Uh, angled back kind of becomes his cross plate here in combined mode. Like that. Uh, and again, you can use any of the Juden Ryan. Uh, we're using Bun Packy here. He plugs in up over here. Uh, the giant arm with Plezuan plugs in over here. Just like that. And then this, pull that down to close his face, turn it around. Plug it in up top here, and you kind of want to support him while you're doing this. And then split these open, and that reveals his face. And there is Bakaretsu Kyoryujin. And he is giant. I think, I think he's about 15 inches. He's definitely bigger than 12 inches. Um, he is a giant, giant robot of spacey dino doom. <laughs> he's awesome. You, you got some articulation in the arms. You can bring them forward a little bit. Um, I think having him forward a little bit makes him look a little bit more not a static. I mean, he, he's a giant, chunky robot. Now, this makes me really excited for Bragigas, or Bragigas, however they're going to say it. Um, I really want to see an all-10 combination. <laughs> like, they haven't shown it yet. We've seen Bragigas with uh, all five of the main carrier Dramex. Um, I'd love it if they were some giant 10 robot massive combination, because this one already is just ridiculously huge and awesome. Uh He's very, very cool. And uh, and then the, the last thing, if you hold down the transformation button, the little triangle button, if you hold it down longer this time, <laughs> and then you hear the Bakaretsu Kyoryujin and combination music, and... And basically, you just don't mess with him, because that's it. I mean, like I said, again, there's still another mech to combine that combines all of them together, who's got to be ridiculously powerful, because this guy's already insane. <laughs> but yeah, definitely worth picking up. I, I really, like, when I first saw pictures of Kyoryujin, I was like, eh, it's the only three together, and it seems a little weird. And the more that I get, the more I'm just totally loving the, the, this line of mechs. Uh, one, because they're big. And there have been a lot of mechs, like, like the SPD main Zord was very tiny, very small. Um, and Because they, they used to be big, and then they got small, and then they got big again, and there was a bunch of small ones that combined to form a big one. Like, like uh, uh, Christ, I'm trying to think of, I'm, I can't think of the, uh, the Japanese name for it. Operation Overdrive. And I know it. Um... But uh, but their mech like was like ten or twelve mechs combined together. But they were all small, and he was only like this big. I mean, he, and he was still a massive mech. These things are just huge and fun and colorful and and dinosaurs. So uh, so yeah, they, uh, this this form right here, it's it's worth picking up Plezuo just to make this guy. <laughs> and aside from the fact that Plez, I, I think Plezuo himself is. A lot of fun by himself. I love I love his giant space dino mode, and I like his robot mode, uh, or his, his you know his humanoid mech mode. But this is just ridiculously huge and awesome. Again, limited posability. You just, you just got the joints here. You can't really. I mean, and that's really pretty much it. You can't really move the legs. Uh, and again, this is why you have this piece on here because if you took this out, 
he would be it'd be very easy for him to just collapse down. That that keeps the legs from splitting apart. Uh, having that piece in there. And again, if you don't like Bunpaki over here, you could even stick two different arms. You could put, you know, uh, you could put Stagochi and Drakara on here if you wanted to. You could put, uh, um, you know, Zakator and um, the other one, the the uh, gun, laser gun, butt gun, Paki, whatever. <laughs> Um, I can't remember all the names. Like I said, it's been a very long day, and I can't remember everybody's name. Um, I know it, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to stall. Trying to. But any, any any of the other previous Juden Rider can go on here, and uh, I would. I want. I want to try this combination with Toba Spino um, when he gets here. But yeah, there you go. There is uh, Bakaratsu Kyoryujin formed with Gabotiro Bunpaki and uh, and Plezuam. Very cool. Definitely worth picking up. Check it out. Yeah.